Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Ghost Rider from Home QTH. Thought I'd uh, show you tonight the decode CW function on the Yaesu FTDX 3000, which is pretty nice if you're learning code or uh, trying to follow somebody uh, that's sending code. It has this function built in. Uh, so here's the here's the rig, and let me turn it off. Uh, here's the normal the normal band scope. So you can see that we are uh, we are in uh, CW mode. Uh, shows up right. Let me get my pointer. It shows up right here on the screen. And we go over here. We have the normal the normal band scope area, which is shown here at the uh, bottom of the display. So if I want to go into CW decode mode, then I simply go and hold the uh, the scope button which is right here. Hold that in for a minute until you hear that beep. And then what you want to do is you want to make sure that your your signal is uh, between the two vertical hash marks there right on point. Uh, so let me turn the volume up just a little bit. There's a, there's a QSO going on here. A couple of other things you want to do is uh, uh, check your your APF setting here if you push the contour APF button that takes you out to a wide uh, signal range I think it's the normal like 3000 Hertz or 3 KC of course you can hear a lot of the background noise now if I push that again it's going to narrow that filter down and you can see it's cutting a lot of that background noise out one more press puts you in the absolute narrow filter range and it will trim off all that noise pretty much on each side of the hash mark and leave you with the uh, signal. So now what's left to do is here on the on the dial you can see the interior button, the interior knob is the mic speed button. This is normally mic gain in SSB mode. In CW mode or D on the decode you turn this and you'll see it pops up on the screen the screen the speed you want to match the approximate speed to what's being received so I've got it on 15 words per minute now and uh, with that set it will do a pretty good job of decoding the signals uh, this this gentleman here is obviously pretty good he's got his spacing good enough that most of the words come through uh, with the letters together instead of all spaced out so let's just watch for just a second here and this is on the 80 meter band We'll turn the volume down just a bit there. Obviously the goal would be to uh, really not need this uh, to be able to copy it in your head without creating a lookup table in your head. You don't want to try to associate the sound with you know uh, dash dash dot dash or da 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 da. You want to hear that and immediately in your mind you know that that's uh, you know the the letter that you're looking for so but you know until you get there this might be something you may be interested in picking up uh, for a preparedness uh, standpoint from a preparedness standpoint you know you can in a grid down situation or something if people are out there sending code signals you know you can use this to decode it if you didn't if you didn't have that under your belt yet 
uh, which is pretty handy. And you know, that's on the uh, FTDX 3000. That, that feature is not available on the venerable and very nice ICOM 7300. Uh, it's got it's got a ready decode in there, radio teletype, but no CW decode. Um, but the ASU has that. Of course, this is not an SDR rig, but uh, you know this is one reason to uh, you know to look at one of these maybe. Anyway, I thought I might show that to you and hopefully gain some interest there and in learning the code or listening in on the code. Until we have another video, hope you have a great evening. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. This is Ghost Rider 73.